Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Uh, in today's video, uh, I would like to show you the uh, experience I have with the One by Wacom tablet on a Chromebook. Um, and I'm going to put a link in the description below for the Chromebook uh, that I'm using right now, which is, which is the HP um, uh, 360, X360. And um, I'm using that with the uh, One by Wacom tablet. So I'm just, I just would like to give you some experience about how the, uh, uh, the input looks like, because this One by Wacom tablet um, uh, is advertised for as um, plug and play with, um, with Chrome OS. So um, I'm going to try a few um, applications here to just to show you. And the first one is uh, Squid. And Squid is a very famous application on Android tablets, and um, I can in, I, I downloaded uh, this application on um, on the, on this Chromebook, and uh, just to give you some idea about what uh, what experience you you get, and uh, um, just to write down something on the screen here, so um, so testing uh, this app. And what you can see is uh, the lines are a little bit uh, uh, broken, as you can see here. This is like a supposed to be a, like a T, and obviously when you zoom in, it, it looks uh, much nicer. But uh, when you when you zoom out and you start to write down, this is essentially a letter size uh, page that I uh, just uh, designed here, so you can see. Uh, that the lines are a little bit um, uh, broken at some uh, some letters here, so it's not really uh, as good. And even the circle that I just uh, plot here is is not really uh, a complete circle. It's just uh, some broken lines, as you can see. Um, if you draw a diagonal line, obviously you'll see some jitter all over the place. Uh, so it's not really uh, very efficient. Um, if you zoom in. And you start to write down. Obviously, the, the your text uh, will be much bigger, but it's a much better experience, uh, as you can see. So this is just a uh, Squid, and um, it's not the best, uh, even though it's a very good app. Actually, a Squid is a very good app to to use, but it's not the best when I'm using it with Chromebook. I use this app with um, a tablet as well before um, with an Android tablet. And the writing experience is, is actually very great. Um, so it's just for Chromebook. I, I don't know if the app is not really optimized when you do it, when you use it, uh, when you download it from the App Store on a Chromebook. And this is why it's it's doing this. Uh, the second app I have here is the um, the Chrome Canvas. So if you, uh, this is an app that gets inst uh, that is installed right away uh, on your Chromebook uh, when you. When you buy it, uh, so it's the Chrome Canvas app, and when you use this app, actually the experience is much better. So I'm just uh, gonna reduce the the size here a little bit. So let's say one or two, and uh, as you can see, so testing this app, the text is much uh, much better actually here. Uh, there is a little bit of lag uh, when you're uh, trying to plot something or write something on the screen, but there is not much jitter as you can see on the on the screen. Uh, this is obviously you can use this application to uh, to do some drawings digitally, or you take some uh, notes um, on it with the pen. Uh, but there is no really definition for the page. Uh, I don't know if there is a definition for the page or not. I haven't really explored this app uh, more. Uh, because I usually use a squid, uh, but you can actually use, as you can see, the lines are much better in terms of being straight. So this is a good app to uh, to use. Uh, the next app we have is the something called uh, Cursive, and Cursive is a, an actually a PWA app um, that you can open on um, on Google Chrome, and I just installed the PWA on my uh, taskbar here. So this app is actually um, just a, a PWA app. Uh, so you're running things on, on on the cloud. And it's a very simple app. This is actually a very simple app. Um, it's, it's OK. So you only have like a pen 
um, a marker, eraser, and and so and a few little other things. But if you, for example, select the pen uh, uh, icon, you will see these are the only colors you have. And then in terms of thickness, you only have the, those three uh, thicknesses. So let's do the, the the thickest one here. So testing this app, and you will see the lines are actually it's not they are not bad. Um, so this is a good app to use as well. Uh, the only issue is that you, I don't think you can import PDF files into this app to be able to use it. So if you want to annotate on a PDF file, uh, this might not be the option to to go with. Squid is is an option to go with if you're actually um, if you pay the membership for for that uh, this app or the subscription, uh, which is not much actually for what you get in Squid. Uh, this one I don't know if you can uh, I don't think you can uh, import PDF files in it, but you can sketch on it and you can see that the lines are much better than 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 Squid. Uh, this app I think it's. Uh, uh, exclusive to Chromebooks, so I, if you actually search for uh, uh, for this app on uh, on Google on a Windows or Mac uh, computer, uh, most probably you will go th through the link, but you will not be able to um, uh, open the app. So it's only when uh, when you're using uh, Chrome OS. So this is the third app that I wanted to show you, and the last one is essentially if you have a PDF file and you double click on the file it opens in, in chrome or uh, um, you know google chrome and this is actually one of the best apps that you could use just opening the pdf file on chromebook on the chrome browser and you will see very simple again pen uh, marker and eraser it's not much you have quite a bit of uh, like you have some colors here and obviously you have the thickness uh, that you can change uh, but the, in terms of uh, the lines so this is uh, testing uh, this app this app is actually very very responsive this app, it's not an app it's just opening a pdf file on on google chrome as you can see here it's a, it's a just a tab so it's a, it's actually very responsive and the lines are are very smooth and um, you can use this to to plot or take notes um, it's it's actually a very nice app to use and once you finish you can uh, print your um, you know a pdf file and save it uh, you can print it with um, with the annotation or um, you may not uh, you know if you don't want to print it with the annotation you don't have to but the good thing about it is it's actually it's a very responsive uh, way of uh, writing on pdf files and you can just obviously scroll um, so you can, you know, if you have pages and pages of PDF file that you can take, that you would like to take notes on, uh, that's a good option to uh, to use. So this is just a quick, um, um, a quick video to show you the difference between uh, those apps when you're using uh, the one by Wacom tablet on a Chromebook. And as I as I mentioned, this one by Wacom is. Um, is advertised for as a plug and play for uh, Chrome OS, and it is actually, which is very nice. The other thing, if you connect your Chromebook to um, an external monitor, the good thing about this uh, tablet is you can just hover over with your uh, cursor using the, the pen, uh, and you can go between the external monitor and the, the screen of the laptop, and um, it, it gets mapped right away without having without you having to do any uh, mapping, uh, unlike what you need to do with Windows. So on Windows, I tried this one one by Wacom on Windows, and it doesn't scale well. You have to actually download the driver to to be able to use it properly. On Chrome OS, it's it's um, it works um, uh, flawlessly actually in terms of being mapped to the screen that you're you're on. And as I mentioned, if you have a, an external monitor, you can just go between the external monitor and um, the actual monitor of the of the laptop by just moving the pen and the cursor will move and once you hit the you know the boundary it will it will go to the to the external monitor for example and the actual surface area of the tablet will be mapped out to the screen right away it's it's very impressive what they did here with this uh, uh, with this tablet so um, uh, so thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one